All right, so it seems to look like a lot of people want me to make more Shindo videos. And I have one for you guys today. I'm not exactly playing Shindo, but I'm reacting to a video called The Downfall of Shindo Life. All right, I've been playing Shindo Life for at least two to three years when I was actively making videos on it before they announced that the game will receive less updates, you know, as any content creator would have to. You have to, you know, mix up some content to post some other stuff which is exactly what i'm still doing you know what i'm saying but uh yeah we're gonna react to this video and see if it is accurate at least and give you guys my honest opinion about it you know what i'm saying uh i think i'm at least top five or top three single life youtubers at the time in my opinion you know what i'm saying you guys might not not think so but it is what it is you know so i definitely think uh my opinion is valid on this video so we're gonna see if you guys want more shindle life videos let me know in the comment section below at least 500 likes at least 500 likes nothing more let's get straight to this baby all right i will be using my face cam for this video if you haven't seen my face well here it is um yeah i'm black african-american i don't know how much that matters but it is what it is let's get straight to this now. All right, so the sponsor for today is actually called Blocks Clash. Blocks Clash is a site where you can literally play online games and casinos so you can earn some and gain currency like some Robux. They have tons of games for you guys to play so you can be able to earn more Robux. Then next thing you want to do is press this wallet right here, then make a deposit. You got all types of stuff so you can make a deposit so you can start making these games and earning some Robux. Or you can go to my character right here, free coins, then put in my promo code Zeno and redeem it. Remember, sign up in the link in the description using my link so you guys can play some blocks. <sighs> the downfall of Shinobi Life 2 slash Shindo Life. Let's see it. I think he's using the AI voice that's generated. So let's, yeah. Shinobi Life 2. Okay. Peak was the biggest game on Roblox. Mm. Biggest game on Roblox? Okay, if we talk about its peak, its peak was probably, to be honest, I think when it was first Shinobi Life 2, when it first released, I think it reached like 100 to 200K people so probably second biggest game on roblox Blox fruits still was getting hundreds of thousands of people playing it at the time so yeah second second biggest Tons of players and the developers were updating the game weekly mm -hmm. weekly over weekly updates baby weekly i ain't never seen a game upload this much bro an update you know what i'm saying it was giving us weekly updates we were spoiled you know what i'm saying hey the shindo community y'all remember it bro the game would slowly lose popularity and True. despite the efforts of the developers the game would never reach its peak popularity ever again and the 9000 is still kind of crazy right now though they haven't updated the game for real in like how many months probably been like close to a year now bro and it still has close to 10,000 players, bro. That's insane. The developers would decide to push aside the game and work on bigger projects. Bro, sees. Come on now, in and done. Both games are looking very, very this nice. Right now. Downfall of Shinobi Life 2. Okay, I see it. The release. The game released on September 25th, 20. Wow. wow. September 25th, 2020. So it's been four years, bro. It's crazy. And it would quickly gain popularity. The developers, Rel Games, were very well known in the Roblox Naruto community as a duo of brothers who have been making Naruto games on Roblox forever. Yep. Played almost all of their games except what was that one game they just showed? I don't know. Uh, it was one game I didn't like though. Yet, and they definitely made sure to capitalize off it. They did. Shinobi Life 2 would get weekly updates, and the consistent flow of content kept the game's fast-growing community engaged. The Which is game good. Would get new game modes, abilities, and just fun and new content. And life was good until. Uh uh. Part two. Two months after the game's release, it would get copyright striked and creators of Naruto. I remember this, bro. I remember this, bro. People did not f with how after the game looked at all, bro. People are picky. All right. I stayed till the end. You know what I'm saying? I saw how amazing things transitioned, bro. The game would eventually return, rebranding to Shindo Life, mm -hmm. but it wasn't the same. Yep. It lost its Naruto game touch, and a lot of players quit the game. But those yep. who stayed continued to see the evolution of the game. Weekly updates continued, and the amount of content was growing exponentially. Yep. June 26, 2021. The first Shindo Life Live event. 
Remember destruction event. Oh my gosh. I remember when I live streamed this event, bro. It was so, so fun. Look at that. The event was the first time the entire community was truly brought together. Yep. And it was something completely new for many Roblox game. Rel Games would continue doing these events after seeing the success of its. Oh my god, a freaking gag! Following up the first event with the Forge Drink Goku event in August. I remember it. A month later in September, the third live event would release. This was by far Ooh. the biggest event out of the three. Yep. And would be the biggest player count Shindo Life had. 137k people playing at the time for that one event is wow, bro. Or Shindo Life, not even Shinobi Life 2. Since the return of the game almost a year before. Although the third live event gave Shindo Life its biggest player spike in almost a year, yeah. it also kick-started the beginning of the downfall of the game. Mm -hmm. The update added Shindo Ringoku and shifted the game's abilities towards a more high-damaging AoE-type combat. Oh my god. Instead of its previously more skill-based combat, and every new ability would follow this system, leading to heavy imbalances between the new abilities and the old abilities, and creating an ever-ending cycle of trying to balance everything in the game. This was yeah. also around the time Rel Games made the decision to add abilities outside of Naruto, which had a mixed effect on the community. Oh yeah, definitely a mixed effect. A lot of people did not F with this at all. And the, we were getting clowned on from different communities, bro. Some people it was wild. wanted to keep Shindo life as a Naruto game, and others really didn't care. But it was a factor as two white people were quitting. As time went on, Shindo life would slowly lose players. Every update had a slightly lower spike in players, and yeah. people were losing interest. The updates started getting one-dimensional, and it was obvious players were getting sick of the same updates consisting of a few new abilities and weapons. People wanted something game-changing and brand new that added a whole new aspect to the game. Yeah. But every time Rel Games would try to add something brand new, it would fall flat on its face, mainly due to the pressure of weekly updates and having to cram brand new concepts into a week's span. It's true. A clear example of this is the Mentor update. On the surface, this update had infinite potential. Your mind is probably... Oh, the Mentor update was a W idea, by the way. It was perfect. Very, very W idea. ...thinking about how cool it would be to train under a teacher and over time through trainings. You would learn hidden abilities and have to find the best mentor for your playstyle. Yeah. But in reality, the update was extremely underwhelming. All mentors did was increase specific stats and give you a few perks when you choose your mentor. And trainings were the same repetitive quest. So yeah, I can kind of see. Trainings to unlock abilities. Yeah. And instead, people just chose a mentor and didn't even do trainings as they were boring and repetitive. The developers eventually stopped weekly updates and would try to update be weekly which is when the game really started to see a noticeable decrease in players. Mm -hmm. January 6th, 2023, Rel Games would release a video on a brand new project. Ninda. This game would basically be the predecessor to Shindo Life. And from what we've seen, the game looks very promising. It's essentially your traditional RPG game, but it's Naruto. Yep. And it looks like the structure of the game will give Rel Games a lot of freedom in what they want the game to be. Also at this time, was the development of Rel Seas. Rel Games take on a Roblox One Piece game. The development of Rel Seas severely stripped any time that Rel Games had to work on Shindo Life. And the game would see a little amount of updates. With the decrease in updates, came lots of bugs that were left unfixed. Yep. Any time updates did happen, they were obviously rushed and were only made from the pressure of updating the game. Very, so very true. The time, they would just create even more bugs. It's a real downfall. All right, part the seven. This update would be the last straw for me personally. This update added multiple races you could get that would give unique perks. Okay, but this was a W idea though. This was a W. I really messed with this update. And a special ability to use. But the catch was that you had to be Z rank. To oh, oh yeah. That was kind of crazy. That was kind of crazy. The highest rank in the game. Z rank takes well over 10 hours to get. And not a lot of people are up to that grind. Races were also unlocked through getting DNA strands from specific bosses. Every time you defeated a boss, 
you had a chance to get a DNA strand that would give you access to that boss's race. Yeah. The only issue is that every time you spin a race, you have to get that race's DNA strand again. That is that was so stupid to me. That was so stupid. being so able to access that race again, so you would have to consistently grind for DNA strands just to switch between races, and to make everything even worse, you had to use rel coins to spin four races. Oh my God. <laughs> He's right. He's absolutely right. I forgot about that, bro. See, that was impossible to get without codes. And since the game was rarely being updated, there were barely any codes to use. So races were basically impossible to get without spending money. Dang. Open world. After oh, this update, my God. Rail Games would have one final update that would bring back a portion of the game's loyal fan base. The open world update. Open world is basically a role play game mode inside of Shinobi Life 2. The game mode garnered an extremely loyal fan base and is the main reason the game hovers around 10,000 players. So that's why. That's why. Okay, I understand now. I understand. At the end of Shinobi Life 2 for now, the game is still very successful and has an extremely loyal player base. And even without updates. The game is doing much better than a big chunk of Roblox games right now. Very true. Rattlesees is the main focus of the Rel Brothers, and we can't expect any major updates to Shinobi Life 2 anytime soon. But it's not like there is no hope for the game. Ninden is looking like a very high quality game that will stay on track as an Aruto game. Very true. Insight. Shinobi Life 2 was never going to be one of the titans of Roblox games for long. The quality of games has changed drastically over the lifespan of Shinobi Life 2, and the Very quality true. of Rel Games work has improved as well. Just look at what Shinobi Life 2 looks like compared to Rel Seas. The improvements are like night and day, so to say the future is bright would be an understatement. And all we can really do is wait for what Ninden and Rel Seas bring to Roblox. Next year. Hey! I want to say over like 95% of what he said in this video was absolutely right, bro. Absolutely right. Yeah, W video. I can't even lie. Shout out to this guy who who, who, let the dogs out? who, 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 who made this video. I'm still surprised they're averaging so many uh, people. You know what I'm saying? Like they got more than some games on the platform right now, bro. And they stopped updating. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? But hey, in my opinion, I never really played the open world because I didn't think it really lived up to my expectation of what they were really, you know, of how I played CC. You know what I'm saying? I just fell out of love with Shindo. So open world wasn't as attracting. I don't know if that makes sense. Whatever. But let me know what you guys think. W video from him. It was it was true. It's actually, everything he said in this video was the downfall of Shinobi Life 2, man. And yeah, hit the like button on this video. 500 likes. We do another Shinobi Life 2 video. Some progression or whatever. Hey, get it. See you guys next time, bro. Peace.